Okay, so today we're going to be doing the worksheet called Why Does a Poor Man Drink Coffee? Now, this is a math worksheet about slope and y-intercept. Um, also, it's kind of fun with a little riddle here. Um, so basically, whatever answer that we get, we're going to plug in down here, whatever letter we get, uh, where we're slope uh, the intercepts. And uh, we will answer the question of why does a poor man drink coffee? So let's get right to it. Uh, question number one, we've got... Okay, so we always want y to be on one side. So we want that equation of y equals mx plus b. That's the ideal situation we want to get it in. So let's start with that. Let's add plus 3x onto this side over here. And then let's divide everything by 2. That'll give us y equals 1 plus 3 over 2x. So there's 1 right here, up 3 over 2, down 3 over 2, down 3 over 2, and that's going to be right through the R. All right, so 1 was R. Okay, let's move on to question number 2. So we're going to subtract x on both sides there, and we're going to divide everything by negative 4. Minus 4. And we're going to get y equals 8 over minus 4 is minus 2. Negative 1 over negative 4 is positive 1 fourth x. So y is equal to negative 2. There's a 0, 0. The y-axis, we're going to go negative 2. That's where the intersect's going to be. And up 1 over 4. Up 1 over 4. It's one over there. Down 1 over 4. And it's going to go right there, right through the O. So number 2 is going to be O. Okay. Number 3. So... All we have to do is just subtract 2x here. That's it. Because we've already got y alone. So y is equal to negative 3 minus 2x. Negative 2x is going to be a negative slope here. So we're going to intersect at negative 3. There's 0, 0. y is going to be a negative 3 minus 2x. Down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. Line's going to be right down there. Number three is going to be S. Okay. Question number four. Subtract 2x from both sides and divide by 3. Over 3. Over 3. That's going to give us y equals 6 over 3 is 2 minus 2 thirds x. So y, there's 0, 0 there. I'm going to put y at 2. Negative 2 thirds x, that's a, that's a um, negative uh, slope. So we're going to go down 2 over 3. 2 over 3. And that's going to put us right into this a. Right there. So 4 is going to be a. is going to be a. Okay, number five. So let's subtract one from negative three x. Let's get three x out of there. We're going to subtract the whole thing by negative one so we can make that y positive. So y over negative one is going to be positive. That's going to be a negative one. Negative three x divided by negative one. So y is going to give us negative one plus three x. So y is going to equal negative 1. There's 0, 0 right there. Negative 1 is here. I'm going to go up 3 over 1. 3 over 1. And that's going to give us right in that n. Oh, sorry, that's really not a straight line there. There we go. All right. So 5 is going to be n. Number six, 
Let's add 3x to both sides. And add 3x there and cross that out. Let's divide everything by minus 5. Or minus 5. Or minus 5. And that's going to give us, oh, let me write over here, y equals minus 2 minus 3 over 5x. So the intercept's going to be at negative 2. 0, 0 is there. Negative 2 is here. And slope's going to be negative 3 fifths. It's down 3 over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, basically right into that h. So 6 will be h. Okay, number seven. All right, home stretch. So subtract 4x from both. Divide by 3. Everything's getting divided by 3, and that will give us y alone. So that's going to equal y equals 0 minus 4 thirds x, and that's a negative slope here. So our intercept is at 0. We got negative 4 thirds x. 4 over 3. Okay, and that will give us right through the T. So number 7 is going to be T. Okay, number 8. So we got to subtract 5 from both sides. Take that out of the way. Got to subtract 2x from both sides too. And divide everything by negative 2. Divide the whole thing by negative 2. And that's going to give us y equals positive 5 over 2, positive x. So this intercept's got 5 over 2, so that's going to be 2 and a half. So there's 0, 0, 1, 2 and a half. And then we've got a positive 1 slope here. So everything's going to be kind of at a half there. Okay, and that's going to be right through the E. So eight's going to be E. And we got one left to go here. Number nine. Oh, easy one. So we just add three to both sides to give us Y equals positive three. It's one, two, three. Right through the P. And we've solved our question. The reason why he has no proper teeth.